If your goal is to make each pixel in your render look the best it can look, you should master lighting. I'm not just talking about watching hours and hours of tutorials on lighting in Blender. Though that might help, sometimes you just need the right tools for the job. Because let's face it, by now you already know enough about lighting that all you need is perfect implementation. And these add-ons won't just help you light better, they will help you do it easier and be consistently good at it. Guaranteeing that whenever you render, you will always get the perfect lighting for your scene. Lighting does not get any easier than this. You can light your subject by simply clicking on the subject and a light will be added that is pointed directly on the spot you have clicked on, making it easier for you to highlight different areas of your model. The add-on also makes features like focusing and changing the angle of your light much easier by simplifying how you interact with your lights. You can scale them up, change the color, soften shadows, all with a simple interface under a pie menu. Much like depth of field and chromatic aberration, lens flares are an authentic phenomenon in real-world photography. By simulating this effect in 3D, you can enhance the authenticity of your renders. However, creating realistic flares in Blender is challenging without add-ons like Flare Wizard. Because of how difficult adding lens flares can be, most artists just do it as a post-production effect in After Effects or Nuke, which can cost hundreds of dollars in monthly subscriptions. But with this Flare Wizard, you never have to go outside Blender. It's real-time and works both in Eevee and Cycles. If your render sucks, it's not you, it's the tools you are using. For example, can you replicate this lighting in Blender? If your answer is yes, congratulations, you are in the top 1% of artists who are really good at Blender, but it's still going to take you quite some time to replicate this type of lighting. If you are not in the 1%, you can easily replicate this lighting and more using the Leo Moon Light Studio. This add-on is the best at creating product visualization, which heavily relies on reflections to capture beauty and form. Since you rarely use environment lighting from HDR eyes for lighting and reflections. Normally, in this type of renders, you have to use studio lighting which have minimum reflections to make your, your products look smart and elegant. But it's very difficult to set up studio lighting that gives you the highlights and reflections you want. This add-on can be used to make perfect studio lighting with HR eyes and you can select where you want the reflections to be on your model, giving you an easy way to direct HR eyes for studio product visualization. While the Leo Moon add-on creates HDR eyes for interior lighting, the physical starlight and atmosphere creates outdoor environments for outdoor lighting. Think of it as an HDR eye generator that outputs a physical atmosphere that you can fly into, generates a physically accurate atmosphere, horizons, skies, stars, and clouds. It's directable and meetable just about everything you need to create realistic looking skies and atmospheres that produce perfect lighting and capable of simulating a day and night time cycle. Better lighting is not just about lighting subjects, it can also be used to convey mood. Story can also be fun. If you want lighting effects like O6, color shadows, club lighting and more, take a look at the better lighting add-on. This add-on comes with a rich collection of lighting presets to effortlessly create dynamic lighting effects with just one light source all accessible in a convenient pie menu for easy operations. Most artists already know about the importance of light gobos and most already have a dedicated solution for producing light gobos in Blender. If you haven't jumped onto this trend, take a look at this light gobos add-on. It's a library of textures to generate ultra-realistic shadows in your scenes. It includes 14 categories with a total of 149 textures. You will find static gobos and animated ones. These are not just simple textures, they are created with depth similar to height maps, so that your shadows don't just look basic but detailed and with depth. Did you know that HDR eyes can be more than backgrounds? Do your models feel too small or too large in your HDR eyes? Does it feel like they are floating instead of being firmly planted onto the ground of your HDR eye? Those are some of the problems you get with simple HDR eyes as your backgrounds. They are merely just JPEG images in the background and if you are using them like that, you are missing out on the potential of HDR eyes. HDR Eye Maker turns HDR eyes from a simple JPEG to actual environments that are a part of your render instead of just backgrounds. You can drive on them, edit them, walk on them, cast shadows on them and more. 
simply making them feel integrated and part of your scene. Sometimes the sky is not just a background effect in your render, sometimes it's the focus of your render, the main character. And even when it's not, wouldn't you want it to look as good as the rest of your scene, animated with detail and depth? That's what Pure Sky is for. The Pure Sky add-on comes with presets of different skies with different sky elements like exponential fog, god rays, clouds, stars and my favorite, hybrid mode. If you have an AGI background you like but want to add extra detail to it, this mod lets you layer Pure Sky Pro elements like clouds, a sun, moon and fog on top of your HDRI to make your renders look more richer. Caustics are fun and satisfying to look at. What is not fun is rendering them. They are heavy and take too long to render. What is not heavy and renders in real time is Shader Plus Caustics. They look realistic, colorful and customizable, replicating how shadow caustics work to achieve real time caustics within cycles. In fact, these caustics actually tend to render faster than anything else in your scene, even on the lowest end of hardware, giving you perfect caustics at an extremely low computational cost. Thank you for watching. Those are some of the amazing lighting add-ons that you might want to add to your arsenal to get perfect lighting. If you want to see other things we have been doing on the channel, here's a tornado generator tutorial I made. You can take a look at it if you are into VFX. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.